Hey everybody, I have uh, created another zombie overlord. If I can bring up, there it is. So as you can see, if I point my vertical up there, I've got 415, probably around 415 zombies. Might be a little less, depending on if there's other entities off in the distance. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and launch this thing and throw a splash potion at it. There it goes. Wow, whoops, some of them are dying. Eek. All right, looks like we still got most of them. Here goes. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I had what I had one level or less than one level. So let's see how see how I do. I'm going to try to go... There we go. <laughs> all of those uh, orbs have all kind of swarmed onto me there. And I'm not sure what the problem is. I'm still with a nasty frame rate. It might be all these Zombie flesh entities here. I'm gonna try to pick them up. Let's see how many zombies I have left. Oh, I can't even see them. Uh, oh man, I think that I have over a thousand entities because of the experience right now. Man. Gosh, this is nuts. Oh, I can't even see anything. Look at this. All this is experience in my face. It sounds like it's starting to pick up the pace, though. Maybe it's starting to get a grip. It's hard to tell. Hopefully that's 550... Right there. I'm counting down. It sounds like it's getting faster. Yeah, listen to that. There we go. There comes my frame rate. Oh, it's like a game again. Yeah, now we're kind of back to normal. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I'm, I'm losing them all over the place. They can't even... There's so many, they can't even all follow me. I'm making an experience mess. <laughs> oh my god. This is... Like the best, this is the best thing I've seen in Minecraft, I think. This is my new favorite thing. There we go. There we go. Oh, what happened to me? Alright. So let's get the rest of these that I dropped here. So 31 levels. 31 levels. That is insane. Now, how many zombies didn't we kill? Uh, I can't tell. Because it doesn't look like it... I don't know if that's going to clear when it hits the edge. There we go. Oh my god, there's still like... Almost 200 more. Luckily, I have one more splash potion. I'm going to give it a shot. Pow. 
Look at that. Here we go again. Okay. Actually, there wasn't that many zombies. <laughs> there was just a lot of zombie flesh. <laughs> uh, that's okay, though. That's alright. 33 levels out of that. Not bad at all. 33 levels. I should remember to do that a little bit earlier, though, before I, uh, before my Minecraft turns to total crap. I can't even move or play or see anything. Alright, so... Here's how I'm going to try, or what I'm going to try with this. The, um... Oh, I had some I had some experience I lost over here. Did I lose any others? No? Okay. I'm going to try doing a gold pickaxe here. Um, I actually... I think this got cut off, but somewhere here... Here it is. I made a Fire Aspect 1 Diamond Sword. Um, it's okay... But the thing with diamond, apparently, is that it's more difficult to enchant. So I'm going to give this uh, gold pickaxe a try. The thing I'm kind of leery about with, uh, with the gold pickaxe is that gold stuff doesn't last very long. And if I don't get, you know, like, unbreaking at a really high level or something, I don't, I don't know how awesome this is really going to be. There's 31. The middle of the road numbers show up more often, so I'm kind of holding out for 33 to spend all my levels. Come on. 32 or 33. There we go. There's a 32. That's close enough. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Efficiency 3 and Fortune 3 but no unbreaking. That worries me because like I said, gold doesn't last very long, so but let's just go give it a try anyway. Let's find some uh, some coal or, or redstone or diamonds and see how it does. Hopefully it does well. Alright. Luckily, I re uh, remembered that, you know, before I spent too much time in my branch mine, I still had exposed coal in my abandoned mines off of the ravine. So now I'm going to try this out. Oh, yeah. Works like a champ. Unfortunately, this is pretty much all it works on. So that's not so great. Um, see, this is why... First of all, it's obvious that I rarely ever use uh, gold for anything because I didn't really know what you could even use it on. So it's useless for everything that you could even get with a pick, except for coal because you, look how fast it burned out. Look at that. Because I didn't have unbreaking. So yeah this uh this is kind of a drag here unfortunately this isn't really whoa 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 skeleton somewhere shooting at me um <laughs> yeah it's uh gold gold is a drag okay this is getting scary up in here there's skeletons and arrows and thunder and I want to get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, this pick is almost spent already, and I only used it on a little bit of coal. Um, you know, it, it did well with that little bit that uh, I mined, but the pick's almost gone already, so that was kind of a big waste. So, I'm still trying to f figure this out, but it seems like it's easier to get good enchantments on gold, but unless you happen to get unbreaking, it's probably not worth it. And even if you do get on breaking, I'm wondering just how long a gold pick would last. Because that was freaking almost nothing. That was hardly anything at all. 
Now, uh, before I continue, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, why my pace has slowed down, as I'm sure uh, you've all noticed. For this past week and a half, things have been a little bit on the slow side, and the reason for that is I've been working on things for the fourth Extravaganza Gasm, the 200, 200 episodes celebration that is going to be coming up this Saturday. And I'm going to be uh, releasing a bit of information about that later today. Whoops. Fire aspect! Oh no! Oh no. That did not go well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be releasing some further information about that later today. So keep an eye out for that. And we're probably going to be hanging out on my live stream at twitch.tv slash co-star I'm gonna have a special episode for episode 200 and uh, a couple little surprises for you so watch out for that there we go well, that's not too bad you know setting them on fire like that it's not too bad at all uh, did I hear, hear an Enderman? I think I did hear an Enderman. They don't like rain, and that means that he probably teleported inside my house or down my stairwell. Which, uh, is not, not the best place for an Enderman. Although I do, uh, I do want to get a hold of some of those Ender, pearl, ender Pearls if ever I get the ch opportunity. Alright, so anyway... Got the creeper damage all fixed up. So yeah, like I was saying, watch out for some information about the 200th episode celebration coming soon. So now I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next. I was thinking about moving my... Um, uh, either moving or duplicating my brewing situation into the nether so that I can stay in the vicinity of my nether wart so it'll I'll actually be there so it can grow I'm not sure if that's going to be such a great idea though because from what I understand it's kind of a pain to uh, get a, a significant number uh, a significant amount of water there jeez I can't talk and uh, the uh, it might not be such a big deal because you can just make water bottles on this side and then take them with you over to the nether so I might do that uh, I don't think I can grow the melons or anything over there though speaking of uh, some there were some comments saying that uh, if I don't make seeds out of the melons on occasion that eventually I'm going to run out of melons. But in fact, as I understand it, these stalks never die. So once you have these stalks planted, you pretty much have infinite melons forever and ever and ever. You just have to retill the earth and then they will grow another melon. Uh, and it's easy enough to get seeds if ever I need any, but as far as I can tell, I'm probably not going to be needing any anytime soon. Alright, I've got uh, all my supplies together here, as you can see, to establish a, uh, a brewing station in the nether. And I have absolutely no idea why, but for some reason I, I made another... Uh, stupid cauldron, which is pointless. Um, so we're going to have a cauldron there. So I'm going to go uh, establish that real quick and try to get some nether wart to grow. I just used my last spare nether wart to uh, create three awkward potions. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to prepare where I was preparing to uh, Uh, da, 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 da. 
make more uh, instant health potions. So that's probably what I'm going to be working on here. At the moment, though, I'm going to whip together a nice little brewing room. All right, so I got a uh, nice little brewing station set up here. Got it cracking away on some uh, instant health again, which it's about to complete. So I'm going to want to get my uh, gunpowder out here and turn these guys into splash potions, and then I'll start the whole process over again. And in the meantime, my nether wart is growing. Got two out of that. And four out of that one. Not bad at all. So I'm. This is definitely going to be a good setup here. This is. Oh yeah, look at that. There's another one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna actually probably replant all of these. There we go. But yeah, it seems like. Uh, Seems like maybe fire is involved in enticing nether wart to grow a bit quicker, so... Because it seems to be going pretty darn well thus far. And there, I've already got three new splash potions. And I can start the whole process over again. In fact, I think I might make... I'm gonna make... Oh, I can't, actually. I don't have a darn... Uh, um, blah, 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 crafting table here. I was thinking about making another brewing stand, but unfortunately I cannot. Can I grab another wart? There we go. Oh. At any rate, I'll get that going. I'm going to pop back uh, to my base and get a crafting table. All right, now I have a uh, an auxiliary brewing stand, which is just awesome. So I'm gonna be able to make a ton of these instant health potions. And I'm probably gonna have plenty for a while at this rate, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is start exploring some other uh, different kinds of potions that I've never that I've never seen before because there's seems like there's tons and tons and tons of combinations. It's weird. I at first I had like no interest in uh, in potion making at all, but now all of a sudden that I'm actually getting like in the swing of it, I'm very excited about it. Can't really explain it. Alright, I decided to whip up a uh, another diamond sword because the fire resistance one isn't going to be worth anything against or not, what did I say? Fire resistance? I said, uh, I meant to say uh, fire aspect. The fire aspect one isn't going to be any good against the, uh, the blazes. So, I'm going to... I'm going to use my regular diamond sword. And I keep carrying around that stupid bone meal. I really... I should leave it. <laughs> uh, I'll hang on to it for now, but I, I mean to leave it back in my other base. Okay, so I went back primarily to get my slime balls here because I have these blaze rods. And I can make some magma cream. What does magma cream do? Magma cream is going to let me make potions of fire resistance, which is why I said fire resistance before. And I'm going to use that to fight, also to fight the blazes. I was under the impression that you could up the intensity by using glowstone dust, but apparently I've done something out of order here. And I don't really need these to be throwable, so I guess I'm just going to have to be happy with three minutes of 
fire resistance, which is probably going to be pretty darn good. So, so I'm actually going to take one of these right now and munch up some uh, zombie flesh and drink down my potion of fire resistance. And there it is. Three minutes of fire resistance. I probably should have waited until I was over there, huh? <laughs> I'm going to head over to that one blaze spawner that I have right next to Camp Coward and uh, try out this the effects of this potion here and see how well I do. Holy crap. I only have two minutes left. That was a fast minute. Alright, so I'm just going to come right up in here. Come at me, bro. Oh, I am completely resistant to fire. Come on. Fire away, buddy. You can't even hurt me. That is freaking awesome. I'm going to I'm actually going to go ahead and try to inspire them to spawn a little bit more, although I don't have a, I only have 1 minute left and I haven't even fought a single blaze yet. So I probably shouldn't tear this completely down. I want to fight him, but he's in a location where if I kill him, I can't get the experience and items. Come on. Come over here. <laughs> Dang it. Wow, this was a waste. I'm going to run out of time before I ever actually get to fight a, a blaze. Come on. I hate you. Like, just come up here and... F Whoa. <laughs> come up here and fight me. 25 seconds left. Okay, so that was kind of a bust. Um... Uh, didn't really... I didn't really know. I was just trying it out. So now I know that fire resistance potions are awesome. And uh, if I'm going to go fighting in there, i got to probably carry the potions with me. Wait until I'm in there. Also take down the torches and probably build an enclosure around the spawner to trap the blazes in. And then I'll be in good shape and I'll have... I'll be have the ability to go in there and just fight them directly with my sword. So, I'm going to uh, rethink this little operation and give it another shot. So, I uh, took a look at some stuff and I realized what my mistake was. If I want to extend these potions, I want to use a bit of redstone. Now, I'm only going to do three of them because, well, actually I have a ton of redstone, so I was going to say it would be inefficient to just do it on two, since you can do three, but since the only thing getting wasted is the redstone, I'm kind of okay with that, because I have, I have too much redstone, to be honest. So I guess I, I can't up the intensity on these potions, but I can extend the amount of time that they, they work for. There we go. So now... These potions all work for eight minutes instead of three, which is going to be so much better because three minutes is like no time at all, especially if things don't go the way that you want them to. There we go. So these potions freaking rock. This is going to be perfect for existing in the nether.